Okay, guys, so um, let me apologize for the video that I put up. Well, not this last video, but the one before that, the Bread of Life video. About three quarters of the way through, maybe a little more. Y'all can hear some noises in the background. Um, I'm going to show a little bit of tact and not mention what the noises are. But if you listened and you heard them, you could tell what they were. I apologize for my family. I apologize for the people around me. Um, I, I've had to be covert sometimes about how I do my videos because there's very little respect that exists in, in people's hearts nowadays. Um, uh, when I walk into a room and there's people praying, uh, you know, I try to reverence that. I try to honor that. Uh, try to pay attention. Uh, I'm trying in my life to honor God and, and reverence God and put scripture and put him first in everything in my life. Uh, first thing I do in the morning when I get up, once I'm awake enough to see and communicate is morning prayer. Um, you know, I try to get my videos knocked out before I do anything else. Uh, so when you hear stupid things like that go on in the background, like here, what, a week ago, two weeks ago, had a demonic outburst from my wife um, you know not everybody's heart is in the same place not everybody is not the things aren't important let me word this right the things that are important to you aren't necessarily the same things that are important to other people right now in my life at this point um, Jesus Christ is the most important thing to me and I almost can't think of anything else um, I'm I just, and what, what disturbs me, because I see this on YouTube also, I'm not just you know, condemning my family or calling them out, I see this on YouTube also, uh, people who are denying his power and, de and denying his deity, denying the blood, they, um, to me it's disrespectful. You are claiming something that you clearly aren't honoring. Um, you say you believe in something, but then you deny what you believe in. And it, it's it's all where the heart is. Where, where's the heart? Tim did a, a great video talking about uh, getting into gluttony because a lot of people have been reading the Riot Act. And I commented, as you know, being fat is not gluttony. Because I know skinny people, super skinny people that eat three times what I do. Um, you know, gluttony is 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 things in excess, uh, and that can be a whole lot of things. You can be a glutton, a glutton in sex. You can be a glutton in in barbecue, smoking, a glutton in vegetable. You mean glutton in anything? Um, people use false judgment with that. And one of the scriptures I gave him. Uh, to, and it was a reminder to everybody is first uh, Samuel first Samuel 16 something six something I don't remember but it basically God was telling Samuel hey don't judge him by his appearance and his stature because I rejected him you know man look at looks at the outward appearances but God looks at the heart and then go back and read job I think it was in chapter 20 there's a description of job in there he's a big old fat dude and yet, in God's eyes, he was righteous. It's not the flesh that God's looking at. It's the spirit. Where is your spirit? And this is even in the Old Testament. God was looking at the inward parts of man. He was looking at the heart of man. And it's throughout the Bible. So even though it aggravates me whenever that stuff happens, when I'm doing a video, you know, because I think I need to move my office somewhere else. Um, it aggravates me when I'm doing a video and that's what I have to deal with because they won't, you know, snickering in the background, uh, poking fun, making jokes and stuff like that. You know, I don't wonder about their salvation. That's between them and God. Uh, but I do wonder where their heart is. And that makes me mad and aggravates me when that kind of stuff happens. And I see it happen to other people too. And it's just, it's the way that things are in the world. But like you can see on the screen, you know, we have to forgive. No matter what these things happen, forgive them. We have to forgive them. And it's okay to get mad. It's okay to get frustrated. It's okay to jump up and down and holler and scream. Just don't let the sun go down on it like the Bible says. And don't let that cause you to go to a place that's going to lead you to sin. Because once you get into a position of hatred and you start taking it out on those same people, 
now you've sinned and we don't want to go that route we want to stay away from that because how are we going to reach anybody if we build up walls the idea is to break down the walls so I'm going to do very my level best to be patient and try to let that stuff slide anyway Matthew 6 14 through 15 for if you forgive others their trespasses your heavenly father will also forgive you but if you do not forgive others their trespasses neither will your father forgive your trespasses and that's direct and to the point. Uh, does it make any sense to carry a grudge? No. You can't change anything by doing it. And all it does is cause problems. Forgive and, and move on. And, you know, a lot of people are like, well, you know, I'm only going to let that happen a couple times and I'm done. Jesus said 70 times seven times. Especially if it's your brother. Ephesians 4, 31, 32. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from you along with all malice. Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ forgave you. And that's what we need to do with our families, with our friends, no matter what they do, and even with the people on YouTube. You know, I've had a couple of people read me the Riot Act a couple months ago about shadow banning people. You know, like, who do you think you are? That, that's not fair. You're not giving them a voice because they disagree with you. I said, it has nothing to do with whether they disagree with me or not. There are comments in many of my videos of people disagreeing with me. We had a conversation. They were polite and amicable, like a Christian is supposed to be. But it's the hateful ones, it's the nasty ones, it's the false doctrine. If you have a church and you have a bunch of believers in there, for example, you have 200 and, was it 265 believers? I think that's what my subscriber count is. And somebody comes in with destructive heresies. Somebody comes in with false doctrine. What does the Bible say to do about it? Confront them and then put them out. If they won't learn put them out and don't deal with them anymore and that's do I'm doing the same thing on YouTube this is my ministry everybody else that has a YouTube channel doing these kind of videos they have a ministry you deal with the problem makers some people their only desire in life is to cause division deal with them you can't reach them all you need to do is confront them and then put them out and don't worry about it God will take care of it but look let's be real some people will not be saved they'll refuse it to the bitter end and I've told you guys a bunch of times, I'll keep saying it. On the white throne judgment, we're going to be there seeing that. And we're going to see people stand there and argue with God whether he exists or not. While they're looking him in the eye. While they're staring right at him, surrounded by angels. And Jesus. And us. I know I'm going to see friends walk across that, walk down that aisle. And they're either going to beg and cry and plead, or they're going to argue with God. Okay. You know, and I've, I've tried to reach these people. I've shared scripture with them. I've, I've reached out to them. I've preached to them. So, this is one of the reasons why, and, and this isn't for salvation. This is just what we do as Christians. But this is one of the reasons why the Bible tells us to walk as Christians. To walk in the light and be an example for those other people out there. You know, when they're watching stuff on TV at my house, that, like they watch the one tranny show, I leave the room. I'm not going to be a part of that. I go back into my private office in the back and uh, I'll do videos or listen to videos or play on a, this little car game that I play, um, just killing time, I, or I'll study scripture. But I'm not going to be involved in those things because I know those things are wrong. I'm going to stand up for what's right. And when it comes to the holidays, I quit celebrating holidays after Iraq. I don't do it anymore. Um, you know, I, I, I try to, I'm trying to set the example of how we should be walking. Uh, I'm trying to lead my family in those things. I'm sharing gospels, gospel with them, I'm sharing script, scripture with them, getting into conversations with them. I feel like I'm being placated most of the time and just being put on, um, but you know what? It, it doesn't matter. I love them, I forgive them, and it'll all be worked out in the wash at the end. Because I, I don't want to carry this, this anger around because all it does is foster dark hearts. First John 1 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen. So you can see there's a whole bunch of other ones down there. I mean, this is a subject we've covered a lot. Just make sure that when you get mad at somebody or get upset at somebody, make sure at some point during your day before you go to bed, sit down and deal with it. You know, and I'll be doing this later. Sit down and deal with it. Sit down and get into prayer 
and talk to the Lord about it. If you can address it with them, address it with them. Uh, because that can cause conviction. Just don't do it angrily. Uh, that can cause conviction and cause a problem, cause the issues to change. Um, you know, somebody standing behind you, obviously you're doing a video and they're farting and chuckling. Ridiculous. Childish. But that's where people's hearts are. And, uh, you know, I was that way too. But uh, the Lord's bringing me up out of that stuff. So we do what we can with what we have. I love you guys. Sorry, that was kind of a rant. I love you guys. I bless you guys in Jesus' name. Be blessed. Be strong. Be secure in your faith. Stand in your faith. Uh, John 3, 16. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes on him shall have eternal life. Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. For by grace you have been saved through faith. This is not your doing. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. And 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Jesus died on the This is the gospel. Jesus died on the cross and was raised on the third day for our justification. Amen. And thank God we have that testimony. Because this dark and dying world, that's all that there is right now is that testimony. And guys, we're losing people. They're falling by the wayside. Thank God that the people that are, are here with us that we're band together are getting stronger and more confident. God is raising everyone up, building everyone up strong in faith. We're putting aside our differences and our disagreements, and we're coming together in faith in Christ under the gospel, which is grace through faith. No matter what else we see and then we agree or disagree on, it's grace through faith. And right now we're the only light, the only beacon in this world. And uh, let's stand in that and let's share that against all the Joel Osteens and, and Kenneth Copeland's and all them people out there for the money. Let's give the world truth as much as we can. Um, by the way, before I let you go, I am working on another platform, trying to find a viable substitute for YouTube just in case. Uh, I don't know exactly how this is going to play out, but I'm trying to find something where, that we can upload videos to or if, at least podcasts to communicate back and forth. Uh, right now, I'm because I, I reactivated my old Twitch and Discord accounts, and I'm looking to see if those are viable, and I'm going to keep working from there until I find something. That way, it's something that we don't have to pay money to be able to watch videos on. Um, but we'll see where it goes. And as soon as I find something that's viable, I'll let you guys know, and we'll check it out and see how it works. Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.